What's up guys? So I know it took a while but we finally got to it man. Team Hero TJ Yeldon 87 overall and as you can see I am using the milestone version. So 6 foot 1, 88 speed, 86 agility, 87 ball carry, 92 juke, 84 truck, 90 carry, 90 excel and 88 elusiveness. Now he, he does also have an 83 stiff arm and an 89 spin. And something I noticed right away with him which was crazy was that he just seemed faster to me than 88 speed maybe it's it's the 90 excel I don't know but it just seemed like maybe he had like 90 speed you know like David Johnson because sometimes he would just take off like this play over here look at this zigzag bam bam and then just take off that that right there does not seem like 88 speed I mean he just took off so this guy is definitely capable of just hitting the outside and just being gone but of course even though he seems faster, faster than 88 speed it does not mean he's uncatchable as you can see when it came to stiff arming, I did get like one or two animations, but that was really about it. Mostly, I just got, you know, these little animations where you just fall forward for like two or three extra yards. Not a bad thing or anything, but stiff arming really just wasn't there. You know, it wasn't something that you could, you know, really lean on. However, this, on the other hand, is a different story. The trucking, I'm surprised how many animations he got. It was crazy. For a second there, I thought I was reviewing, you know, Jeremy Hill or Derrick Henry with the animations he was getting, just knocking guys on the rass. So, even though he does have a low truck rating, I would really not fall for it, man, because from what I saw, a pretty decent trucker. So if you're running down the sideline or up the middle or wherever and, and you want to truck your opponent, I say you just go for it. And of course, as you would expect, running with the middle very effective because, like I said, he is faster than you think, so he can zigzag his way through and fall for a few extra yards. However, catching the ball was definitely something that he struggled with. When it came to taking hit sticks, I was pleasantly surprised. I mean... I believe he took like seven or eight hit sticks with zero fumbles and that's a very solid rating now of course I'm not trying to say he'll never ever fumble for you but I'm saying it should definitely not be something that you worry about and with juking you know even though it is his highest rating I assume that this is what he you know was gonna do best however that was not the case and I'm not saying he was terrible but he was not amazing I would give this you know juking rating just slightly above average and just like his juking ability his ability to break tackles on his own was once again just slightly above average which I think is probably the best way to describe him. you know pretty much almost everything he did was just really slightly above average except of course for one thing but before we get to it as far as the struggle points the only place he really struggled was catching the ball so watch out for that he is liable to drop a few open passes but as far as what I think he did best it wasn't even close man the spin move was ridiculous man had a nasty spin move and honestly he he gave Jamal Charles a run for his money. I mean, these these two backs, Charles and, and Yeldon, have nasty spin moves, man. And it got to the point where that's all I wanted to do. I didn't want to truck or stiff arm or nothing. I just wanted to spin with them. And I had so many more, and I mean so many more clips of him spinning past his opponents, but the video was getting a bit too long. So anyways, guys, if you pick him up, use him however you want to. But I say spin with him like this, then break some tackles and spin some more like this. Hit the outside and use that 88 speed, which really feels like 90. So all in all, guys, a great running back to spin with. Everything else, though, like I said, was just either average or slightly above average. But that spin move, ex everything except the spin move pretty much is what I'm saying, you know. But anyways, as you see here, compared to Jeremy Hill, Todd Gurley, and all these other guys, he does okay against them. I don't think he's better than, you know, Gurley or Johnson or Henry. I mean, unless you love to spin with your running backs, I would say pass on him for now. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap this up. My next review on offense is going to be the team, uh, the team of the Week, David Johnson. And on defense, it's still going to be Team of the Week, Darius Slay. But anyways, guys, I'll see you boys for the reviews. Don't forget to like the video to spread awareness, comment to voice your opinion, and subscribe so you'll be up to date with the content when it drops. I'll see you boys later. Peace.